Since the release of SDS2 2016.12 general release, there have been some changes in the way Dimension Add works in Drawing Editor. So we're going to cover some of the changes in the way you just saw Dimension Add works in 2016.12 and the way it works now in 2016.15 and higher. When I start my Dimension Add command, I'm not prompted to select the type right away. I can pick two points. After I pick my two points, depending on which way I move my mouse, it'll give me horizontal, vertical, or actual, depending on the points I picked. So if I picked points that were on an angle like this, I can see I have a horizontal, an actual, or a vertical. So after I pick two points, I'm going to locate what type of dimension that I want, and then I can continue to pick my points for that dimension type. If I wanted a horizontal dimension, I could do this. I could also hold shift and control, and then it gives me my option to run a specific type of dimension add, just like it did in 2016.12. So I can pick a specific dimension type, or I can just pick two points and let it guess, based on my mouse direction, what type of dimension that I'm wanting. For an actual dimension, if I want to base it off of a line, I have to hold my shift and control and pick actual. Then I can pick my optional dimension line rotation, and I can keep picking my points here along that rotation at that point. When I pick my points, if I want to base it off of a point over here or if I want to backtrack, remember I can always still hit my middle click to remove both points and I can pick the points over again. I can keep middle clicking to remove points back to the very beginning. I can also if I right click to cancel that, holding my control, I can get arc and angle dimensions as well. So if I want to run an angle dimension, I can just right from this one middle click and pick my two edges and get my angle dimension right there by using your control button. Those are the changes in the dimension add since 2016.12.